All right, YouTube. Today we're going to switch it up a little bit and play some Grixis Control. I really like playing this deck. I have a lot of fun. Creates good games, good long games. Just grindy, a lot of fun. Wait. Phil, Phil's back there by the table. He's just hanging out. But yeah, I really like playing this deck. I have a lot of fun doing it. Um, you know. I couldn't, I like... I couldn't play it for a long, long time because I just don't necessarily like playing those gen decks as much as I do like, you know, an aggressive deck. But it is fun to just switch up. Need a second webcam for Phil one day. One day I will. But I really, I enjoy playing this deck and um, I don't really know a lot about its positioning, you know, whether it's a good deck or not right now, but I think it's pretty solid. There's a lot of Stoneforge Mystics right now in Legacy. And, like, this deck lines up really, really well against Stoneforge Mystic. So, kind of excited to give it a try. Just run it through. And, like, Baleful Strixes. A fun card to play with, in my opinion. But besides that, I mean, Jace the Mind Sculptor is fun. Snapcaster is fun. Baleful Strix is fun. Like, I just like playing this deck. I wouldn't play it over something like Delver at a tournament, but I do really like playing it. Loads of disruption. Fan. Alright, I would like to play first. And I will keep. This hand's gonna need to this brainstorm gonna have to do a lot of work with this hand, but but we're hoping that happens. Should I go land go? Probably gonna be a lot of land go here for a little while with this deck. We're not gonna brainstorm any turn. Yep, we're just gonna. My brainstorm on my main phase, because like I, I tend to, I think I'm playing against a combo deck here. My opponent went bottom bottom though. All right, that's nice. It's either Miracles are like a... Uh, oh, it could be the Mirror. I think I'm going to brainstorm the end of the turn. We get an Underground C. I think we're playing against the Mirror. I want to hit my land drops. Okay. So... Is it greedy of me to shuffle away both of these edicts? I think I'm going to. And then I'm going to untap. I'm going to get a Valk. Okay. So we're going to ponder here, look for a him. Baleful Strix is nice. Baleful Strix is nice because I can go Baleful Strix into Thoughtseize, Liliana next turn. So I'm gonna I want all of these cards. Because hitting my land drops is nice. Okay, a little force of will, like a Liliana from my opponent. Being on the play, being able to thought sees is pretty nice. Uh, Dose of ours followed. Thank you very much.
Oh, we're playing against Storm. Rut row. Rut row. Okay. So we're just dead. We're super dead. Oh, wow. They took my thoughts. Okay. Well, now I'm just going to jam Jace. And... Depends on what my opponent does with this preordain. If they keep multiple cards on top, they put two cards on top. So I'm just going to fate seal them. I could search for a second force of will, but that doesn't seem great to me. So I'm just going to play this Jace. I'm going to go up on their top card. Put Dark Rich on the bottom. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I would assume this matchup's like atrocious, if I had to guess. No bueno. I could force this, then they would just go for it. If I keep another card in my hand, it makes my brainstorms better. Oh, wow, we're not dying. Wow. Going good, McThud. Going good. Uh, it's Storm, I think. I don't think Phoenix plays Duress. Well, that's not good. Don't need either of these. We might be able to get lucky and time this Edict well. Or time this Colgon's Command to snap like an important card off. We're going to assume my opponent needs mana. Um, yep. Yeah, Edict's fine for modern. We're just dead as a doorknob. Make sure I fetch my upkeep. I gotta be dead here, right? Like you gotta be killing me here. Okay. So this goes and gets passed in flames, and then they just pass in flames, kill me. I'll see. I'll just see what they grab. They grab ab nauseum. There's like a world where they die. But they're probably just gonna get past in flames, I think. Oh, geez. Okay. Nothing yet. Still nothing.
Am I against Rodrigo Torres? Didn't he win the VSL? All right, there's passive flames. Can't take any more damage. Okay. And as soon as he puts passive flames on the stack, I'll scoop it up. You also want to like CGP the storm. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna make him play it out. Okay. Because he just goes like flashback infernal tutor and kills me. Okay, coming in against Storm. Bluster Storm. Pyroblast. Surgical and spell bomb. Um, these are like maybes. Cards I definitely don't want. Fatal Push isn't good. Liliana's not good. Diabolic Edict's not good. Oh, he did? Hmm. Um, these Colagons commands probably aren't great either. I would like to cut one more card probably to be able to get my... Because the Deluge for Goblins is probably also good. Indeed he did. So we're playing against a, a Cheetah. I guess what we want to do. Yeah, wild. Wild. That's why MTG has a superior format. Yeah. If I could draw him to Torak, I would be happy. Though this hand's probably good. Can go Thoughtseize on one. Brainstorm on two. Maybe hit something. Maybe I'm supposed to hold my Brainstorm because if they... If he has, like, a Thoughtseize... Then I'll want to hit it, or I want to like hide my cards, or like if he, or if he thoughts he's my brainstorm, I'm not really doing anything. I think I'll do that. I think I'm just gonna pass. Because if I thought sees him and he has a thought sees, then I have to take the thought sees, or my hand doesn't really do very much. I can brainstorm at a turn, which is kind of mopey, but like maybe needed. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna thought seed on turn one. Hide the cards that I want. I could Yeah, we're just gonna pass. Give myself the option to hide the cards that are good. Isn't he the guy, doesn't he have, uh, like, lip rings? Is that the guy that we're playing against here? I'm trying to put a, a name with the, a face with the name. I could just fluster storm this. I have a snapcaster mage. To hit the hit it back. I think we're just gonna do that. Like next turn, brainstorm into a land. Thoughtsies. If he kills me, then he kills me.
Doesn't look friends. Okay, I can put a face to the name now. Yeah, I'm just gonna fluster storm this. And then I'll like brainstorm on my turn to find my second land and then thought seize. Then I can like snap thought seize if I need to. I would assume this is a pretty heinous matchup. Hey, Phil. Okay. I'm still going to brainstorm. Okay. So I think I want to put back him to Torok, Snapcaster Mage. I don't want him to discard spell and take my him. So I'm just going to go like this. What did he do with this? Did he keep on top? Did they put a card on the bottom? I guess I'll just take the ritual. Doesn't make a lot of sense taking his cantrips. It's all about if he finds the land or not, which he did. Actually, he can just go him Gurmag Angler, which is probably pretty good. Polluted Delta Brainstorm. So he has Preordained Brainstorm, and that's it. One, two. I'm just going to play Gurmag Angler. I wish I hadn't fetched away my Snapcaster Mage. I guess I kind of do. So the alternative thing I could have done there was um was go with like thought sees this one brainstorm that I knew about. But I think getting the five five in play is really important. Alright, thought sees. I feel bad if I hit Pyroblast here, I guess. So maybe I shouldn't have done it like that. All right. Hopefully big angles will get us there. All right. Pretty nice draw. Okay, we'll keep both of these. I'm gonna draw the Snapcaster Mage again because I'm gonna like snap Thoughtsies. Cabal Ritual. I think I'm just going to Flusterstorm this. You can't pay for it. And then I should probably just hold up Snapcaster Flusterstorm. Put him to one here, basically Wastelands him. Now we have Snap, Flusterstorm, plus Blast. Yeah, this is, I guess I didn't have to do it, didn't have to fetch, but. I 
just zoned out there with my fetch. Okay. Johnny, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. And I think we're going to keep it as is. There's not really anything that's like worth it to bring in. I don't think we're going to win here. I think we're going to lose pretty soon. I would like a hand that's like Force Blue card, Thoughtseize, him. I don't know, like three lands. Would be a nice hand. Would be a very nice hand. All right, I mean, we're going to keep it. Not too shuffle. Okay. Now that I have two of these, I kind of want to snap this off. Make it so they don't have to draw the top card. Is that loose? It's probably loose. Hold this brainstorm to be able to hide a um all right, so now I'm gonna brainstorm to hide the him. Put this back, put this back. Just kind of suck. We're gonna fetch away our fourth land for our Snapcaster, but like, such is life. Okay. And we're gonna draw a step. Take that LED. Torrock is such a stupid card. My opponent can go Dark Ritual. I guess I just added to the Storm Count, which wasn't good. But they don't have a way to make to they don't have a way to make red mana. So I actually don't have to worry about them. I don't have to worry about adding to the Storm Count. That's pretty nice. So we'll go like this. Draw the force. I should have taken a better look at the deck list, but I didn't quite. And now we get to go snap him next turn. Okay. Now I'm going to force of will. Probably have to force a will the first. Okay. So I wonder if my top card's a land. Do 
Do I have to surgical myself to draw? My opponent's hand is Dark Ritual. It's Dark Ritual. Um, whatever it is. It's Dark Rit. It's Dark Rit. I think I have to surgical just to shuffle my deck. It's Dark Ritual. Um, I have it right here. No, I don't. It's Dark Ritual. Empty. Infer it's Dark Ritual, Empty the Warrens, and uh, Tendrils and one other card. A two drop tutor. I have to surgical myself, I think. Well, well we're going to keep that in hand because that is our blue card. Yeah, it's Infernal Tutor. I think my top card was a land. I'm, I'm like 99% sure it was. Yeah, just for a shuffle. So if my opponent plays Empty the Warrens, it's just for three. I think I can beat that. No, I can't. They have to show me a red source. Yeah, I probably just have to force this. Now we're playing off the top. All right, and that's not bad. It's a spell. Blast any cantrip. I'd like to draw a Snapcaster Mage. That is not a Snapcaster Mage. Show me a him. Who? Okay. Lotus petal. There are two petals. Him. That's not bad. That's a pretty great draw. It's actually like this is absolutely unreal draw. Just pecking away with the birds. So I know my opponent's got um, one of those, yep. Uh, yep. Another pedal. Okay, so they have one more pedal. If they crack all of these, then I should be able to fluster storm every copy. Yep. 
right, so let's let this resolve. Let the trigger resolve. Okay, so this one goes here. This one goes here. This one goes here. This one goes here. And we'll put this one back on the original, I guess. Go here. All right. So they got tendrils and then one unknown hand. Snapcaster Mage. Tilt. I'm just going to leave both of these lands in my hand. It's a pretty good draw. Attack first. In case they have like an abrade, I don't know. Um, I kind of just want to take the Dark Ritual because if they draw red mana, then the Passive Flames doesn't do anything. If I take Passive Flames, they draw red mana, they Dark Ritual into Passive Flames. Yeah, so we're just going to take the Dark Ritual. Okay, got lucky there. Right. Just keep on chugging the little birds that could. That's a nice draw. That's probably going to kill me. If it doesn't kill me, it's at least going to get them close. Wow. Not dead. Oh, we have one bolt. Well, I guess I might as well just take this Baleful Strix and shuffle and play it because it's the same thing and it's one more power. It shortens the clock by a turn. It's the same thing as a random shuffle. I have plenty of good... Take it easy, Johnny. I have plenty of mana. Let's get a Volcanic here. Ooh, that is nice. Well, now I just have Snap Flusterstorm. I don't need to do anything here. I should just hold up for, should I Snap him them or Snap Flusterstorm? I'm just gonna hit my opponent. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hit him. Oh, he has his own Fluster Storm. Wild. That is wild. Okay. So now I'm dead. Because he just if he's got it stacked right, I'm dead. 
Hmm. Because he either has tendrils in his hand. It's either tendrils between the his hand and the top two cards of his deck. It's tendrils past and flames. Maybe I should have held my Snapcaster. I'm not sure. Because I had an epic Moto Flusterstorm fight there. I guess I could have snapped surgical. And Fertile Tutor goes against Tendrils. Oh. Am I dead? Show me I'm dead. Yep, yep, we're dead. I'm sure there was a like some way else I could have done that. Like may maybe even using like maybe it's not even right to use the Snapcaster like that because. But if we him our opponent, then unless they kept, no, it doesn't matter. We no, it was stupid. Because, no, yeah, doing him to Torak was stupid because my opponent has enough mana. Well, I guess they would have had five mana. So if the Pass and Flames got in the graveyard and they only had one more draw, they couldn't flash it back. I'm just trying to wonder if that's the right thing to do or if I just got browned. Close match. Close match. I shall keep. I'll play a polluted delta. Sam would be nuts against a deck like Death and Taxes. I want to win Island Ponder. So do we think they're a Delver deck? Or do we think they're a combo deck? Off a of Scalding Tarn. I think I'm just going to play my Strix. So say if this gets dazed, then we have another like Liliana the Last Hope's a really good follow up. Okay, so I'm just gonna bolt that on my turn. Well, now I just want to hit my opponent. I'm actually going to bolt this right now because if my opponent has a daze, I don't want them to play true name. Uh, 
Oh, and of course it will. Okay, so we're playing against Blue Red Delver. Hopefully that means a Liliana resolves. Not gonna trade my strikes with anything here because we have this Liliana. Okay. Chain Lightning. So I have to hit this Delver next turn because it's going to flip. I could brainstorm to find a land, which will pro which is probably decent. I'm fairly certain this Delver is going to flip. I kind of need a land drop. Or another Baleful Strix. I guess I can do that next turn, though. It's really bad if it doesn't work out. Like, this Liliana is just going to eat this Delver and then gain me gain me four life, five life. Okay. Look at all these tokens. Give me tough slogan. It's gonna be tough slogging through all this. Um, I don't really think I need any of these cards. I'm gonna go get a Volcanic Island. I've got two pushes left in my deck, so hang on, I should go. Two pushes and a Bolt. I don't get to Brainstorm, but like I, I increase my hits, which that was lucky. All right. No true name. No true name. Played a true name. All right, let's start here. I don't want this, don't want this. Just shuffle. Uh, blue, black. A true name was a good one. That was a good one from our opponent. We're kind of in this game if not for the true name. All right, Wasteland, sure. Okay. All right. We actually kind of have a way out of this now. So I can put this back, I can put Ponder, I can put back Ponder Land, play Ger Bolt one of these, play Gurmagangler. 
I take three. And then I can go Colagon's Command, Diabolic Edict next turn. Alternatively, I can play my land. And I can go K Command to deal two. Next turn, Bolt, hit. But if my opponent draws Spell Pierce or Daze, that's pretty bad. But Spell Pierce or Daze just gets me next turn, I think. Am I far enough behind where I have to get a little extra value and fade? The problem is I get like I can get hit by a counter spell if I do that. I think I'm gonna play Bolt. I need to have five mana. Put this back. Put the edict here. Two. Deluge would be very good. All right. The problem is I'm at three, which is like, ugh. All right, bolt one of these. This deck has so much reach. All right, so let's start by attacking. And then if I do it, what do I want? So I want to return Baleful Strix. I probably want to go Shock Return Baleful Strix, actually. So um, Yeah, they just have a spell pierce. Which makes sense is their last card. We couldn't beat that anyways. Unless they blocked. Delver decks gets to play a bunch of basics. Really strong. Yeah, I mean, the Delver decks are good. Delver decks are very good. I've been playing Grix Delver for a while. Alright, here, here. Here, Pyroblast, Red Blast. Buster Storms of Maybe. Cards I'm not in love with. Jace the Mind Sculptor is not that great. Him is not that great. Against the Delver Dex, you just want to interact with the board. Himitor is probably decent on the play, though. No, I don't want my forces. All my forces, at least. One mana answers are good though. I could just board all my forces out and keep two Jaces. I'm trying to be good on the play. May board some forces back in on the draw. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Him doesn't impact the board, you know, for two mana to not impact the board. That I think that's a little I think that's a little too much. I guess I just want all my cards to like do something to like remove a creature, you know. Not gonna do anything here. Don't want my brainstorm. Just got to be careful. Uh, 
not play into days. Maybe I just show the young pyromancer a little more respect. Wasteland. Okay. All right, these are nice cards. I kind of want all, I want a lot of my cards because I would like to be able to hit my land drops, make these wastelands not good. So I think I'm actually going to put two lands back, play a basic. I shouldn't have put two lands back because in case I have to like fetch for a true name, I just won't now I'll let it resolve and then try to edict it because I want to hit a bunch of land drops. Yeah, I messed up a little bit here. Okay, they pitched a brainstorm. So they get to waste this here, which kind of sucks, but like such is life. Um, I get the Valk. Get to set us back a little bit, but hopefully, I don't have another true name. Double true name, okay. All right. It's a nice draw. That's really nice. I kind of want to put back both of these Colorgon's commands. These Colorgon's commands don't seem very good at the moment. Could go K command land. K command's removal. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, thought sees. Okay. I'm gonna go get a Badlands. The angler at least puts pressure on our opponent. So the last card's Pyromancer plus X. Hopefully they just don't draw like Ponder or Days or Spell Pierce. Hope this works. It worked. All right. This Trinamus is this holding back. I thought there's a lot of burn in their deck, so it might be right for them to still keep attacking. I don't know. Yep, we're going to just keep sending it. I'm going to wait one more turn on this Brainstorm. Like one more card. I guess I can get blasted now. All 
All right, that's a little annoying. Gross. Put both of these back, play this. Uh oh, they attacked and they drew lightning bolt. Thank God. All right, we gotta fetch an upkeep. Get red mana. Um, yeah. All right, we'll just pass. Rut row. Oh, they're not attacking. Holy shnikes. When when should I do this? Probably should upkeep bolt my opponent. Okay. I think I want some more forces on the draw. Or maybe I can get rid of one of these color guns commands. Bring in one more of these. Probably ditch both of my thoughts. These just keep like keep some of these in there. He just can't lose the true name nemesis. And we're much more susceptible to that on the draw, I think. Put their main thing there. So if they don't flip their Delver and they go to fight over it, they fight on their turn. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. This hand can be a little sketchy though. No turn one play for our opponents. Very nice. Because, like, if they fight over it and their Delver doesn't flip, then they're, like, lower on mana. I don't know. That was the reason why I didn't do that. Okay. Gross. Shuffle back this Jace. Shuffle back this land. Though I can pitch the Jace. Jace can be my pitch card. Okay. So, now I gave my hand. Do I want to force through my Liliana? I'm going to use this now. I'm going to get a Badlands. That's a pretty nice draw. Let's me play Gurmag Angler. And I'm gonna play my Angler because if I play, I'm playing into Days, but by playing into Days, I'm making it so my opponent can't True Name me, True Name Nemesis me next turn.
Okay. I guess I play into days again because they're going to waste me. How's it going, Pervy? The fuck is this, Phil? We're just changing it up. You know I like playing this deck from time to time, Lawrence. Could have rolled down and just got Gurmag Angler right there, but decided not to. Okay. How does this look fair? I have no idea. I don't. I've, I don't play this deck enough. I don't know. I actually like playing this deck, Lawrence. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't like grind with this deck like as much as I'd play Grixis Delver because it's just not that much fun. But I do like playing this deck. Yeah, I've heard the stories. We're going to let that go because we don't want to get our brainstorm days. And now we brainstorm. Nice. I'm going to put the Snapcaster Mage back on top. Play my land. Diabolic Edict you. The reason why I brainstormed on my main phase is because we have five answers to True Name Nemesis once it's on the board. And if I brainstorm and I, I can't shuffle, then I can minus my Liliana to get back Gurmag Angler to effectively shuffle. It's always fun when I get to resolve a Jace. Yes, it is. I might go Snapcaster Mage Brainstorm again because I can bring back uh, Gurmag Angler to Shuffle, but I think I'm just on the plan of ultimating this Liliana. I think that's how we're going to win. Moto. Don't do this to me, Moto. All right, we're back. Use my Liliana. How do you feel about this card, Terraman? It's a good card. Good, solid card. My opponent plays a true name, I'm going to edict it, and then I can untap in casualties if they deal with it, but I'm just going to keep. I'll keep this land in my hand for now. This land. I'll put Terra in my blue. Okay. Do I even care about doing them three damage? 
don't think I do. Yeah. Oh, is that how that works? It keeps rebounding? I thought it was just once. Oh, yeah. Keeps rebounding. You learn something new every day. We're getting wasted. I don't really want to do anything with this thing. Okay. Okay. Got it, yeah. This isn't going to work out that well. Alright, so I'll spell Pierce back, or spell Force of back. I don't even think it's worth forcing. I'm actually just gonna let this happen, go up, and then I can just like snap Diabolic Edict it whenever I want to. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We can save this forceful for something important. Like, I'll force it if he bolts my Liliana. Another one card is Preordain X. Okay. Yeah. Plus, my Snapcaster Mage, like, is going to be good at some point. Like, hell, I could just plus on it, and then I could go Snap Casualties if I wanted to. If I draw Red Land, this K Command's been nut, because it brings back my Gurmag. Excuse me. They split it. Yeah, see, that's just nice. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to push this. Because, like, what else am I afraid of? Like, I guess I'm a little afraid of Scary Terry. So I'll let this deal one more damage to my Liliana. And then I'll go end of turn, push it. Yeah, but I have a Snapcaster too, so I can like afford to snap this back. I think. I mean, we could just like sit and do this dance with a Delver forever. Which I mean, I guess probably favors us. I can't remember if this is game two or game three. All 
Ja. Let's do this now before this thing's on the stack. I should have killed this first. Ooh. All right. It's not great. So I have to either push now or force uh, or force a whatever it is. I should have I should have done this on a different time though. Yeah, I should have there tapped out. I messed up. Yeah, I messed up, ladies and gentlemen. I messed up. Some of these stops. Um, I kind of want to force this, but I'll wait for them to commit more mana to it. Wasteland is a powerful card. It's all right, we'll just like tick up, go, tick up, go. Let's play, we're gonna have to play quickly, so I might talk a little less. Go. Got our boy getting down with the thickness over here. They're thinking about it, whatever this is. All right, here's a new draw step. That's a pretty good one. Um, I'll play around days. Yeah, it was a nice wasteland. These wastelands were good. Wasteland's a great card. I love me a wasteland. So I think I'm gonna just edict this um, this thing in my upkeep in their upkeep because I then want to have the ability to minus my Liliana. For a Snapcaster Mage and Snap Edict it again. Okay. That should do it. Okay, so I get what my opponent's doing here. Um, I think I'm just going to attack K Command one of these and play another Gurmag Angler. A CQ opponent. Yeah, I'm just gonna like shoot one of these. Uh, return a Gurmag Angler. 
Oh, I exiled my angler. What a tilt. All right, whatever. Do this now while I know it resolves. I can still have a true nemesis covered because I can just eat it. <clears throat> Make them discard the land. All right, I have to play the second, the last one pretty fast. Oh, I won. Gas. I forgot what game it was. Nice. Well, that was game three. That was game two. Can I pithing needle that? Yo, Brad's token is great. I would like to play first. I would like to keep my hand. I think I'm going to go... Oh yeah, I put the, I forgot I got rid of the stop of my upkeep. I think I'm gonna go underground sea ponder. If I get wastelanded, I get wastelanded. Go to the deck. We didn't hear a lot of players, so it's bad in the new meta. I have no idea if it's good or bad. I just I enjoy playing it from time to time as a good switch up. Looks like this hymn is gonna be good. I tend to think it's getting a little better because there's a lot of Stoneforge Mystics, right? Like, you know, the K command deck should be pretty solid against Stoneforge Mystic. But I guess the Stoneforge Mystics have back to basics too. Which like maybe I should play around as I fetch another duel. All right, got two cards. All right, I'm going to fetch a basic with this. Oh, we're playing Delver deck. OS, the play starts with the Grixis list. I mean, oh, weird. I think I'm just going to go fetch a Badlands and play Gurman Gangler. And then Ponder. And if my opponent wants to daze my Ponder, then, like, you got it. Ooh. Flips the brainstorm. Not bad, Chief. I'm going to just edict. So I'd like to play around the days and dazes. my opponent in their upkeep to the smacking them with my fish. I just want to kind of feel stupid if I get Trune Nemesis. So in five minutes, however, I'm uh, super excited to upload all those subscriptions to the video. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. I appreciate it. Yeah, I kind of think I'm just going to Kolagon's command this Delver at the end of my opponent's turn. Well, I'm going to do it in combat because I don't want to take the damage.
So this means if they daze it, I'm just gonna duel up to make my mana better. I don't really think this is going to resolve. Why well, they going to force this? Okay. That's nice. So land. Play this, tick up on here. Wow, they just scooped it up. Okay. So playing is blue red Delva. I don't really like cards that don't affect the battlefield, especially when we're on the draw. One of these are kind of slow. One of these are kind of slow. I want my blasts, my deluge, my Liliana, my edict, my casualties. Cut some number of force of wills. I think I even cut my thought seeds for fluster storms. No, I didn't. I can't remember how I sideboarded last match. I won the draw, so I think I want some number of force of wills. I think I can trim down a Jace. I could trim another Jace for like a Fluster Storm. Hey, Phil. Phil. Hey, Philly. Stop that. Some of the stubs came in today for the papers. Nice. Good, good. Good, good. Looking for an ass kicking Phil. Could cut like one more force. Bring in a fluster storm. Dreadboard's kind of mopey. Stop it. Little thick boy Phil gonna get his ass kicked. I've uh, had paper uh, for about a year. Enjoy my five years. Home. Nice. Uh, we're going to do this. I don't know if this is gospel or not, but this is how I want to sideboard. Well, keeping a one lander against Delver is pretty sketch and my opponent just mulligan so i think i'm gonna mulligan i can ponder and find more lands but if i don't i'm just gonna die this hand sucks i'm gonna keep this one my opponent's willing to four g's all right put this on top I put a card on top. Um, just leave this island. Yes, turn two him would be nice. Like a pyromancer. Okay. I'm gonna untap and lightning bolt this young pyromancer. While well, I have the flusterious of storms up, I'll get a Badlands. And they just scoop it up. Okay. Both teams tried hard. Oh, let me turn my light on here.
can't even read my questions. Yeah, it's just like black, black, all creatures opponent gets gets negative neg one, neg one, kick it for five, they get neg two, neg two. Appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. Y'all are great. Having fun playing some Legacy. I signed up for the Legacy GP yesterday, which I'm pretty excited about. Who would like to play first? I would like to keep. Hands kind of medium, but. Can't really mulligan hands like this, I don't think. Inquisition of Kozilek. Okay. Takes my Baleful Strix, which kind of sucks. Do you know when the next quarter's GP format's supposed to be revealed? I do not. So now we're going to chill out. Hope our opponent doesn't do anything for a little while because we're not going to do anything. I love you, Lawrence. Um, I guess I want this Volk to get wasted. All right, these are all pretty great cards. So I will go, and I'll thought seize my opponent next turn. Such a draw, much good. Isn't that the key to being good at the game? Oh. Uh -huh. See, I'm going to take my opponent's days like a professional here. And then I'm going to shock this. Force of will and days. Yo, we dead. Do I have to take a brainstorm? Nah, I've got it. Well, it must be take this true name nemesis and hope they shuffle away this force. But yeah, this ain't, this ain't good. Days, K command to discard. You took for one the hand anyways, right? No, right? No, because they could just daze it, right? Or am I, am I missing something? Maybe. But he's going to brainstorm, so he's going to find lands, right? Fork bolt me. Wasteland me that turns on the days. So rude. Uh, I want to shuffle because my card underneath is a land, if I remember correctly. Damn it. 
guess I just take this ham. I'll just get all duels at this point. Give me the underground C. Him you. This gets forced, pitch days probably. I don't know. You might. I think you'd force this. Because like if I hit the brainstorm, the rest of the cards suck, right? Oh, they're just going to brainstorm. Okay. So I'm taking six at least, four down to six. K command shock returns tricks. Okay. What do you got, opponent? I guess I should do this in the upkeep. Return target creature. Wow. In before lightning bolt. All right. Well, that's bad. I think I'm dead. Now that they put this on the board. Dead AF. <laughs> deck. I, I feel you, Lawrence. I like playing a league of this every once in a while. I could not sit down and like grind with this deck. Chose to not shuffle. We did. We did. What are you up to tonight, Lawrence? Oh, there's, there's all the removal spells. Deck. I don't even really think I want Flusterstorm this matchup. Like it might be better than Force. But these are kind of slow. Just play eight. Yeah. Phantasmal image that shit. I'm gonna cut eight Flusterstorm. I don't think I want that many of this, this effect here. I don't know. We're, we're, we're fast and loose with the sideboard in here. Nothing special. <clears throat> we're actually kind of finishing this league faster than I thought we were. Well, I guess we're almost two hours into the stream. We're not done our fourth match yet. So I guess this is quite a slog. Hmm. 
Mm. This is not gospel with how to board with this deck. Like I, I don't really know, you know, how to do that. I feel like I win a lot of games where I play Baleful Strix on two though. Like that's my goal. To play to resolve Baleful Strix. I think we get I think uh Rick's still gets bitter blossom. Alright, keep this. Bitter blossom is gonna be hard to answer. Bitter blossom is really annoying. Yeah, Baleful Strikes are fun cards to play with. I think they're kind of over. I think Baleful Strikes is kind of an overrated card, but it's fun. I really want to get spell pierced. Hey, how's your soul not miracles? Plays AK. I don't know. I don't really know a lot about. I I I have no idea how this deck how this deck is good. I, I would assume this deck would fold to a card like Accumulator. So. I've played many decks. I've, I've had many times where I thought I've been okay against miracles, and they ripped an, the like an accumulated knowledge. And it's always the second one. And I was like, okay, I'm not. I'm no longer. I'm no longer safe. Danger. I'm gonna be pretty liberal with my Snapcaster Mage because I have this Colorgon's command. But if my opponent's not gonna make me do anything, then I'm just going to hit land drops and chill. Land drops and chill, that's my new thing. <clears throat> After that, okay. Yeah, I would assume this Dark Depths being a tough matchup for this deck. So I'm just going to run this Snapcaster Mage out here. Because I would like to just cast my spells at this point. Brainstorm, okay. This is likely really good for me. Because what it's probably going to end up in is they're going to, like, force this or something. And then I can go, like, play Liliana and take up and hit this young Pyromancer. Okay. I think I'm gonna fetch an island and ponder for a land drop. Well, I guess I'll just hold that land. Yeah, 
hold it till next turn. Because, like, at least having a land drop at some point is good, but not really in the face of Wasteland. I can use it to one-shot my red source. No, my Liliana. Why would you do that to me? Okay. Uh, what do I want to do here? Because I can go like Snapcaster, push, block, take five. And go you know, Snapcaster, push. I can just like play a non-polluted delta land. And then it sets up Diabolic Edict. Yeah, like I could just go... I kind of just want to hit land drops, because my hand's expensive. Okay. Kind of throws a monkey wrench in my problems. I guess I can just Diabolic Edict now to save myself a life point. Take six. I have a land underneath of here, so if I go like fetch brainstorm, what am I going to do? Not really a lot. What am I going to do with my brainstorm? Alternatively, I can just see two new cards, which is probably decent. I might find my own Gurmag Angler. Okay. Then I think I'm going to hit this in the upkeep. I got a lightning bolt, but whatever. I'm in a tough spot. All right, I'm just gonna wasteland. Waste my red source, I go to three. And I shall upkeep Diabolic Eating for my opponent and hope that works out. All right, don't true name me, bro. Don't bolt me. Fucking quit. I'm going to take one just in case this is a true name. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked for this reason. 
So now I go to one, can't fetch again. Yeah, I'll probably lose to attack or take this. All right. I think I messed up. I definitely messed up. Yeah, I, I super messed up. So now I can't like, can't force. It's a nice draw. Yeah, definitely, I punted here. Fifthing needle. So we have two targets. It's either Jace or so we have Liliana we can draw to. We only have one, we have two Jaces. Okay. Not casting that one. Oh, they traded. Okay. I guess it slows the clock down, lets them draw a lightning bolt. Oh, I'll just force it. Okay. Doesn't seem great to me. I don't know. I don't know what your opinion is on it, Lawrence. Uh oh. This surely means true nemesis or lightning bolt. Chose not to shuffle. Grim lava mancer. Uh oh. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> Should I just deal my opponent two damage? What else can I get back? I don't have a Gurmag Angler. I can get back Snapcaster Mage. Shock Revive Snap. Probably just Shock Revive Snapcaster Mage. So. Return Snapcaster Mage. Because now we can beat like a true name. I didn't have Gurmag in here, right? Yeah, I don't have an angler in my graveyard. I thought I did. I was like, we've, we've been playing for a while. You think I would have found my angler by now? All right. So it's literally like they just need Bolt, like Trinity doesn't do it. They, na they named Jace with this. Yeah, this, this is what they named it with the uh, Needle. Okay, so I'm on the play now. I don't really think anything changes. I'm gonna draw, excuse me. Or maybe I want one more force and I wanna ditch my fluster storm. Cause I kinda wanna deal with the actual creatures. You're so tired. No, it's okay, Lords. Legacy is hard. If I'm not 100% on the ball, I play like garbage. I could have gone Shatter and Jace. That might have been spicy. I'm going to bring this in just so we have outs to the creatures. Shatter and Jace might have been nice. Do I have enough mana to do that? Do I have seven lands? All right, we'll keep... Sounds pretty good.
I'll go Island Ponder on one. Work been getting you down, Lawrence? Now I kind of want to go get Underground C to give myself the option, but I'm not going to Marsh Casualties next turn. Even if they play a Young Pyromancer, I want to play into Days. All right. I have a plan with this Jace. Lava Man, so good. Lava Man, so good. No, I haven't. I just, I just, I don't play this deck enough to really like test out the cards. Like, I just, I just play this deck because I find it, I find it a good change up and fun from time to time. I'm gonna blast this. Right now, um, and if they force it, I'll marsh casualties. We can get some legacy like, coaching. You don't need it, Tannen. Ooh, ooh, this marsh casualty is gonna be nice. Um, I'm just going to play my bad lands because it gives him like two bad lands to uh, to waste. LOL. And then you can daze this if you'd like. <laughs> um, I'm kind of in for at least a couple of these lands. Because that likely they're going to waste me off of Jace. And I would like to get up to Jace. So I'm going to go like this. Maybe I didn't need the second fetch land. But <clears throat> betraying the Delver boys like that. Sometimes it's just got to be like that, Lawrence. Sometimes it's just got to be like that. I'm going to fetch the end of my opponent's turn. All right. Only insecure short men play Grixis Control. I take offense to that. I'm a tall man, Lawrence. Ooh. Look at that. All right. Brainstorming a beta blast. Get a little taste. Yeah, get a little taste of my own medicine. Yo, do you like lands? I'm not going to jam this Jace into a daze. Now I'm going to play my Valk so that I can snap Brainstorm. Play Valk, please. <laughs> Don't worry, Lords. I'm kind of on it. Snap BS, Snap Blast. Now we're gonna Snap Brainstorm. Oh, Snap Brainstorm or Snap Blast, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, well we drew number two. So, we jamming.
Opponent's probably like, LOL, got him. LOL. Wasteland. Alright, rude. <clears throat> Just gonna play a little Drago. Now nah, I'm gonna let that go because if if I draw another land, then it's gonna let me. Uh, it's gonna let me like play Jace with Blast Up. <laughs> Keep hands to do something. Yeah, Tannen. Why don't you do that more often? I watched your match against uh, Rossum. Oh, all right, that's nice. And that was that was like gut wrenching to watch. Should I upkeep do this? No, I kind of want to be able to blast a Trunian Nemesis. The best hands do nothing. But Lawrence, I can get back my Snapcaster Mage. Well, now I'm going to fire it off. Do I want to get back my Snapcaster Mage, or do I want them to discard a card? I want to return my Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, return Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage. All right. I could uh, Snapcaster Ponder on my turn to hit a land drop. I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, Daddy wants to hit a land drop. Sure got a second red source there. That was... That was a little loosey goosey. They blast this. <clears throat> Should got another red source. Force of will, force of will, lightning bolt. If I like, if I keep this, I think it's gonna like play me into a play pattern of where I can lose the game. And I don't really want to do that. I kind of just want to make land drops. All right, baleful strikes is nice too. I'm not really worried about a lot right now, so I think I can just fire the blast off. I kind of want to just snap ponder again, but I think putting Baleful Strikes in the stack is too nice. Probably should have left my basics up. I could snap ponder now, but I've already made my land drop, so I'm not really worried about it. Okay. Let's 
So now I think we try to do try to execute the old snapcaster mage colagons command loop. And if that if they stop it, I'm gonna play Jays. You would have played the Jays. Okay. They forced my snapcaster. Braid. Put a braid in the bottom. No. <laughs> you brought in a braid? You brought a braid in? So same question, but I'm not sure. Wait, and I'm sure I'm partially missing. That's not really how it works, but okay. Ah, so we fix this. I know one person figures some of these. Oh, they scooped it out. Okay. Yeah. I don't really like the Death Shadow deck in Legacy, to be honest. It's just weird, because, like, you're, you're... Maybe... I haven't played the mid-range Death Shadow deck yet, but, like, I never really liked the Delver one, because, like, you wanted to be aggressive, and you wanted to fetch in such a way to enable Death Shadow. And, like... So, like, your cantrips were... I thought your cantrips were just worse. Which meant, and then like not having lightning bolt for reach, which means like if your opponent like stopped your first wave of stuff, then um, you were most time just dead because you're at a low life total. But um, it, it's really good against combo decks for sure. Like, I, th I think the decks... I, I haven't tried the one without Delvers. Which may... I, I, I don't know. I'm a little nervous to do that. Because I think that, like, going down to such a low life total might be a little, uh... Sketchy. Well, the, the, what the Delver deck has going, the non-Delver version, I think, has going for it is, is it plays Baleful Strix. And, like, I think that Baleful Strix might be able to help it so that you can play better offense defense with the deck. Oh, baby. Yeah. I'm going to mulligan. Because I know that he's probably playing a Delver deck. Oh, this hand is awful. It's on the bottom. Hold a three. <laughs> Yo, I have no idea what that Azorius Delver deck is doing. Should I just, like, pray? Should I just pray no brain, no, no, um, no days? The problem is I know Chad plays Stifle, and, like, Stifle is going to make, like, I can't go, like, Badlands, like, play my Delta, play Badlands Bolt. And if, and there's a chance that like, if he dazes this, he can't daze my Delta. Okay. Maybe I should have, I probably should have fetched. 
No, I don't want to get spell pierced. Wasteland. I'm going to fetch an island in his upkeep, I think. I'll wait, I guess. He might play a two drop. Oh, he's got no land. No land is good. He could be sandbagging a wasteland to make us think this is good. Just looking for lands at this point. <clears throat> Looks like we're in good. We're at a good spot here. I'm just going to brainstorm. I want to hit lands. Neither of these are lands. But I will just jam this Gurmag Angler. Looks like we're in a good spot. I think, I looked through the chat there, I think, I do not understand that Azorius Delver deck. Like, that just looks, looks so bad to me. Fourth bowl. Okay. All right. Jason Mind Sculptor is not what we're looking for. We could be in a little bit of trouble to like a young pyromancer. Dude, this fish is thick. It's about to die though. Yeah, and it's like you're you're a Days deck with waste. You're a Days Wasteland deck with Jace. Like, I haven't played very much of it, but it, it does seem very awkward to me. Yeah, it's, it seems like you're uh, like a bad Stoneblade deck. Scary Terry. It seems like you're a bad Wasteland deck and a bad Jace deck, you know? Alright, we got this land. Okay. Yeah. Well position trash. I think I'm just going to eat it now. Chad didn't daze me last turn.
Yeah, but he didn't have Pierce last turn. I did the exact same thing. Um, what are we doing next turn? What does this K-Command do? This K-Command gets me back Baleful Strikes, which is pretty nice. So I think we're going to go like this. Make a land drop. Yeah, I agree. Like we're just I just wanted to make a land drop. I probably should have stacked it differently so that I pondered so that I, I the ponder was on top. Yeah. I think I'm going to, on Chad's upkeep, uh, shoot this and return Baleful Strix, though. Like, Snap Bolt was nice, but I would like to be able to Snap Edict. All right, let's let him reveal... Do I want this ponder? Or is this or is a random draw step better than my ponder? I don't think I want my ponder. Though I can just go like snap bolt then ponder. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna keep it, then go snap bolt, then ponder on my turn. I can also have the Ponder be my pitch card, or I can pitch Jace. I'm kind of tempted to pitch Jace because I have three more. Snare me, chatty. Austin is wanting to get a third ball. Bolt this. Just bolting my head, okay? Jason, I win. Okay. And then if he wants to daze this, he can daze this. I'm going to get another underground. Um, probably just get another underground C. Um... Yeah, now we're just bodying young Chad. Like, we can go K Command, discard, return Gurmag Angler, play Gurmag Angler if we want. Did I stack them poorly? Oh, I just scooped it up. Yeah, because I, I thought I could sell, like, go Strix into Command, but, like, because I had a Snapcaster, but, like, you know, whatever. All right, I kind of want Scary Terry. Be, I want, kind of want Dreadboard because of Scary Terry, but that's the only reason. I know I want this. I played against this Blue-Red Delver deck four times tonight. 
I think three out of my four leagues have been against this deck. Three out of my four out of my five leagues have been Delver. Take one of these out. Take these out. Uh, take these out. Yeah, I don't like him either. Okay, you like Fluster? Then we can we can get Flustery. Because we don't want... Like, we can go like this pretty easily. We have PZ Delver. Um... PZ Delver. Sometimes it can, it's, I guess it, sometimes it hits Delver, sometimes it hits Terramander. What I like about it is it just returns Baleful Strix. Because, like, I find that if I put enough Baleful Strix in front of Chad and deal with the, uh, and deal with the true names, then he's just screwed. <coughs> you think Dreadmore is probably better than on the draw? I wonder if I want two of these. On the draw. Because, like, the fish just gets walled off pretty hard. It trades with Terramander if they want it to. Two angles seems good. All right, we'll go, with, we'll go with your Sand Lawrence. Yeah, it does It does give you an answer. Like, I did race a Trudy Nemesis in one of my matches earlier today. All right, sounds pretty good. We're a little weak to a young pyromancer, but such is life. Yeah, they, they have some level of inevitability. This deck is so bad. Like, have you read Bitter Blossom? So I'm, I think I'm going to play in two days on the second. <laughs> Do you want to build a Blood Moon? Don't play in the Fluster or Fierce. That makes sense. Um, so I'm going to get Badlands because this gets Island. And then we have Swamp in case he does Moon me. No. Getting inside your booty. Hard cast days. All right. I think I'm okay playing my Strix. Drew another basic, which is kind of nice. Revealed a pyroblast. Okay. So, I think I'm passing with Snap Red Elemental Blast. So I can blast a true name, or I can uh, blast this Delver. Yeah. Might take three points from this again, which will put me to 10. I think I'm going to take three more from this. Like I, I have to be careful, but I think I can take three more.
and hard cast that days. Yeah, that makes sense, Lawrence. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the thick boy just readjusted his positioning. That's a good one. I'm going to start by attacking because that's happening for sure. Because he just brainstormed, so his delver's slipping. What's it fucking like? <laughs> Um, so I know he's got to land. The question is, do I want to play patient and not get Trinity Nemesis one more time? I think it's yes. I'm really scared of getting true named. And I know my opponent's going to land. They just drew Fork Bolt. They drew Fork. He drew Fork Bolt. I can deal with Fork Bolt. No, I can't. That sucks. Why didn't you just play literally to clear the Delver? Oh, yeah. I got zoned out. I zoned out. My fault. We messed up. So this is one. Pyroblast two. Flusterstorm three. If you cast before it this turn, you choose new copy. So I can't do that. Okay. Okay. So, do I just get beat here? Let's see what Chad did. I made mistakes. All right. I'm not proud of the things I've done. So what do I do now? I can't fluster storm. So if I fluster storm, then it's storm count three, storm count four. He just pays for it. So we're not going to do that. All right, I, under I understand. It's, it's all good. It's all good. We get to, we get to K command back our Baleful Strix, and then we get to just die in a couple turns to a Lightning Bolt. It's okay. Nobody worry about it. We're okay. <clears throat> it's okay. We get to just... All right. We got mooned. Jeez. Probably should have just attacked. I should have attacked before I did this, but whatever. Should definitely attack first.
Mm -hmm. Pikachu meme. Uh, Lily Plus. Well, am I just attacking with Snapcaster Mage, or should I just, like, return my Baleful Strix? Yeah. We're in a bit of a tough spot. We're, we're in a tough spot because I played, or, or played our way to a tough spot, right? Like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm just going to take Chad's last card and... Well, I might as well shock this because it then makes it so I can edict a TNN. So I doubt he has anything important in his hand. So return target creature... Chad, he's going to draw nothing. The pause and the upkeep there scared me. All right. Scary Terry. Um, I've got two bolts in my deck. They're lethal. Alright, that's not bad as well. Chad was outskilled this game. There was nothing about me drawing like an absolute god after being a moron. Got him. Got him after being the complete moron. All right, let's open up some treasure chests, and then I can think about if I want to do another league or not. All right. Let's open up some treasure chests. Right click. Open all. I have a problem. I like opening treasure chests a lot. Wow, these sucked. Wow, I just opened up eight treasure chests. I think I got like 40 play points and like 0.27 tickets worth of cards. 